this is probably my 10th take. I had phone ringing and all kinds of other stuff happen, and so hopefully this is a keeper. Um, today I want to talk about something else that, that um, has always been presented to us one way, and but in the light of the gospel, you can see it's actually completely the opposite thereof. Um, if you remember a couple weeks ago, I did a video on uh, who gets baptized by fire, and I was, uh, you know, I started out in Matthew chapter 13 with a parable, which was in verses 39 through 43, and uh, talking about how people, you know, are, are cast into a furnace of fire, and then shall the righteous shine forth, and it turned out that that was everybody, right? So let's go to the very next verse, verse 44, and see what that has to say. It says, again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field. The which when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. Now, the way it was presented to me at least, and I'm sure many of you as well, is since we were supposed to seek the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and everything, that we're supposed to be seeking after pursuing this kingdom of heaven, trying to get a hold of it, right? And so, therefore, we're supposed to sell all that we have. We give of all, all of ourselves, you know, surrender unto God wholly, everything, everything about us, and give our money and, and everything, and we will achieve the kingdom of heaven or take hold of it, right? Mm. What if um, it's the opposite? See, Jesus told a Pharisee once, <clears throat> before he even went to the cross, because the Pharisee mentioned something about heaven, and Jesus just looked at him and basically said, You fool, the kingdom of heaven is within you. See, we're talking about a, a spiritual thing. Heaven was within us. And so where is this treasure? It's in a field. And so, who is the wealthy person who has enough wealth to sell all that he, he's got, to give everything, to buy the field wherein the treasure is. That would be Jesus. See, Jesus said from the days of John the Baptist until now, and he said this right, up, right before he went to the cross practically, he said until now, those days, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. See, Jesus was taking the kingdom of heaven by force. He didn't ask us for permission to take the kingdom. He took it by force, and he took it with his, with his very life. So, who's the treasure? The, who is the kingdom? What's the kingdom? The kingdom is within you. You are the field. You are the treasure. As a matter of fact, after that, he talks about a pearl of great price. He's not the pearl of great price. The kingdom of heaven's not the pearl of great price. We are that pearl of great price. Kind of backwards from the way we were taught, huh? Well, folks, I just hope you have a good week. And uh, I know that's just something short and sweet to think about, but that's all I've got.